Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. Boy, it looks cold out there. Mm. Yep, winter is here. Um, I've had a number of folks remind me that we got oxen. That's right, <laughs> kind of forgot about them. We got a couple of two-year-old oxen right there and a couple of one-year-old ox there. and They're fine. Uh, one year old is the minimum for draft animals and just come over here and hit click to order plow for two of them and we should see the turn my music down a bit you no yeah are you the carpenter yes you are so you're gonna walk over and grab yourself an oxen let's see from here right over here what is this building? Oh, that's the granary. I'm, I'm off by a block. Okay. So you're going to wander over here. Head in. Kind of fun to watch the uh, the process here. Don't know what you're doing in there, but you brought out one. I wonder if that counts as two. I can't click on them. <laughs> Speed you up a bit. Bring you on over here. Hook you up. I guess that counts as two. No, I take that back. We are going to get the second one. So I take it you are, I guess you're just kind of hooked up. Yeah. I thought maybe there'd be a feeding trough there, but it doesn't quite look like it. Now yeah, maybe that is. Yeah, I think it is a feeding trough. Okay. So we're going to kill a little bit of time here and never mind. He's, he's going home. <laughs> Yeah, the story of my life with this game. <laughs> okay, what else was going on in between episodes? Um, there was conversation about the tailor over here trying to get these warm clothes made. Well, look at that. I didn't have to do anything. I just had to wait a while. And his batch is a 10. Oh, that's interesting. So it's one for one. Cool. When they make these, it's 10 and they take... I didn't see how many disappeared just then. I didn't think it was one for one. Okay, well, that is working. I guess it's worth picking up a few of those and, and letting the process happen. Okay then, um, let's see, check in over here. Nothing new has happened, but the oxen are in two different places, so they're not both staged as a team yet. Um, I moved the, the new well for the brickworks from back over here I watched the episode as I edited it and I thought you know they could just carry it right in the front door why did I put it all the way over there and it's, what's interesting is this great big rectangle does allow you to do that within the rectangle so even though you know so it doesn't count at all just like the um, uh, this guy here when you go to put something around in here you got a whole bunch of space inside so you could almost sneak a small building in there <laughs> maybe you'll sneak, sneak a storage or something some kind in their warehouse okay so you're working on these and i had a lot of requests over the last you know, several episodes and was brought up again last time to please build the bridge so we'll do it we'll put that in next okay so plow oxen are being figured out you're delivering more wood so topping you off 1300 more coming wow okay now we definitely have enough laborers now to keep everything flowing around the uh, the community are you our carpenter you are not you are still at home taking a rest i guess you sat out in the cold for a while now you're walking around some more speed you up a bit and you're gonna go Sit outside in the cold some more. Okay. Um, what else happened? Let's see if the chickens are still happy. You... 30 chickens now. 22 hatchlings. Should be very similar. Now 29 and 27. Still quite a bit of grains in there. A lot of eggs. And no one's hauling those eggs away. Yeah, pause a minute. Now eggs do have a longer shelf life than raw chicken meat. But the fact that they're all here and there are no down arrows. Hmm. Do we want to be selling those? 
We could leave a reserve in here of chicken eggs of not too many, maybe 50. Store them over here. And we could, it seems like it was, I don't know which trader it was. Tell you what, let's stock up as much as 100 over here. And if we get the opportunity for a trade, we can grab that 100. But right now, they're not grabbing it immediately, which means that... There's a, there we go. He's building the plow out of all the metal parts. Which means that... What was I saying? That, that people don't have a need for it at the moment. They're... Wow. Teleporting oxen. And there's one plow on its way in. Perfect. Still in December, so we'll easily get them both in place for... And you're just going to sit there in the cold. I wish there was a... I mean, they've got all this space in here. You'd think they would move them in. Park them in the garage for winter. <laughs> okay, he's going to get two more. And what is she up to? Supplying resources. She's a laborer. Uh, I, I don't know. You are headed to get some sand. You're just going to carry by hand. Oh, that came up in the comments, too. The mystery was solved. The charcoal pile. We could not for years get this thing to work. Then all of a sudden it worked. Laborers. As soon as I said, do the men. Instead of just the women. I didn't realize that I had... See, I see this. And everyone's... You know, it was sitting like that. I didn't realize that it was only by cart. Women can't use cart, carts, as a laborer. They only go by hand. This would have allowed everybody in. So that's what happened. Now, I suppose I could just go ahead and say by you know, men, women, and children apply to all, and by hand and by cart apply to all. So all possible opportunities to get these filled are available now. At the time, there were no extra men, period. We didn't have enough to run the fishing and to run the sawmills and to run the building and to run the mill and everything else, but we're not in that situation anymore. So we can start to diversify a little bit. Um, what else is happening? So we have our teams of oxen ready for next year. And I noticed that this one last time while I was editing had filled. No, I take that back. I take that back. She, we did determine that she was in fact hired for that for October only, right there. So I was going to say it did fill without anybody in there, but she's there all the time now. She does deliver to the stalls when they need it. And she's available for whatever else happens. I decided to leave her in there. Is there a similar situation over here? You two are still hired. Period. Okay. Now they will supposedly... We saw it once last episode. Go in and fill up the stalls for these ladies. If, that, if they're on a break when, when a need comes up. Um, okay. So you're built. And you're starting to fill up. And they're starting to deliver all of the materials down here. So, we could get this one going first, and they will cart the materials down, and yeah, there's an advantage to that. But, we're already 22,000 into it, it's already half done. More than half done. So, it'll happen, it'll be fine. Um, what else until then? Just kind of playing it by ear at the moment, didn't really have a plan. Are you guys still buying charcoal? Wow. Nope. You have got wheat to sell to us. And we're waiting for somebody to get to work before they give up and leave. I wonder if it will flash me a, 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 an angry message that they gave up. And you just come running through here. You? Yeah. <laughs> That's Petro. He is the, the manager. Yeah, I remember that last time we saw Petro. <laughs> Who is that guy? Okay. Here's our, our wheat being unloaded. Perfect. So the wheat is arriving. And I did have to shut down the saddlery. In between episodes, I turned it back on. Um, we had talked about starting it up. 
and I had not put anything in here. And then I went to go do that and got to thinking, where's all the leather right now? Well, all the, le the leather got delivered. There is no more leather anywhere. So it's turned on, it's meant to grab some materials, but there's no point in employing anybody right now. But you guys make shoes as fast as you can and while I'm thinking of it. I don't think there was ever a chance to sell shoes to the, the, the river cities. I don't think that was a thing. There's shoes down here. Let's take you to closer to a thousand. We are making it faster than we can get rid of it right now. And as long as we keep doing that, I don't see when we wouldn't be. Let's see, right there. Because we'll always be buying leather or we'll be butchering. So as long as we're still making it, the the market stalls can keep grabbing it and keep topped off and keep the houses topped off that way. It's the, the um, warm clothes that are the issue at the moment. Um, let's see, two teams of oxen are ready to go. And over here, we're still making and retrieving salt as fast as, as it can go through the system. Everything here seems to be fine. Five happy workers. We've got a whole slew of builders running out of things to build. And when are we going to get to this point? We, another 5,000 were there, which is just, what, five more carts? So did cart come in. I'm curious to see how much is in each one. Uh, you went that way. You're coming over. You, it is a thousand. And you've still got 3,000 lumber over there. So, yeah, we've got Vitali. Vitali. Oh, we'll go with that. Making lumber as fast as he can. Each time he, he drops a log, another 2,500 boards jump into the system. So, they make a lot out of each log. They really do. You, 36,000, all resources are collected. So this might be fun to just kind of sit back and watch. Let's see here. Or they just all went to take a break. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, we'll come back. <laughs> um, now, I was asked, could we just build over here anyway and see if they pop their own little boat out and row across and go to work? Now, when you go to build anything out over here, it says inaccessible. Even building a bridge, you, if you start it from here, trying to go across, it won't even let you set the foot in. you got to start over here. And then you got to sit in just the right spot. That's too low over there. So, we showing up for work? We supplying... Oh, we're still bringing clay. That's interesting. There isn't clay listed here, but they're bringing it. Ah. Huh. Okay. Well, I don't quite get that, but I do like the way they build it from this end and just kind of work their way across. Yeah. Let's see. Click out over here. Those are some <laughs> big, big boards they're carrying over. <laughs> Back when men were men. Okay. Uh, we are into the middle of January. We've got wheat going again. Great. One worker is enough. We brought it all over. And we brought the 600 over. That's right. We can hold 600 at a time. Um, what else is happening around here? All the chimneys are puffing out smoke. I take it everybody's got plenty of firewood. We are making lots of textile. Two people making. There's still plenty in stock. So I think one process in the goods of two ought to be... I don't know if we can handle... Well, I guess I do have two in here now. Oh, because of that one. Okay. That's why we went to two. I'd, normally I do two and one. That way they're always ahead of this one. She's never sitting around waiting for a textile. But, and then over here at the tannery. So we need to get hold of some more salt. Interesting. Uh, you... Let's increase that... And I don't know how much salt is necessary. You are lime. You are bark. I did ask for bark to be put over here. I guess I should ask for some lime over here, too. Uh, or salt over here. Um, nothing's available at the moment, so we'll go down this way and do it. Are you a thing? Salt. There you are. 
So salt, let's do 500 of you. And actually I did 5,000 lime. Let's do 1,000 salt. It's not that far away. It's just a matter of building up some reserve, and even that's probably not going to happen because we're calling for it down in there too. So I wish there was a way to tell the game to only bring to the trader once the town's reserves you know, are at a certain point. So we're saying, yeah, bring us 5,000 to fill up eventually and sell eventually. Uh, Marifa, do you buy salt? You do. I think that's the trade that I missed last time. Um, let's slow down, though. I want to see what's happening here. would like to see that complete. Can I keep you in the background and do something like this? Um, I can't wiggle. I can't move sideways. No. So if I do that and try it. Kind of. There we go. Now we can see both. All right. So salt... They're willing to buy a 35, 31. I don't know what... Oh, we have 1,100 in stock here. Okay. All right, we'll do the 1,100. Which is 110 coin. 110 gold. I think I'll call it that, because it does look like a gold coin deal. All right. Sunflower oil. We do have that in stock, too. 500. So we're going to bring in a good amount of of sales here at the beginning. Dried fish isn't a thing anymore. We're keeping that for the town. Buckwheat, I would love to buy some more, but they want to buy it. Flour, um, we're just starting to make it again, so I'll wait till the next round to deal with that. Chicken eggs, that was the question. There's 49 in storage. What do we do with that? They weren't buying it. So I'm guessing houses are, well, but we're then we're a 20 in storage. They are buying it. Okay, we'll leave that alone for a while. That's a food we'd like to build up until I'm sure that nobody wants it anymore. All right, so they're willing to sell us warm clothes as well as broadcloth. Let's start making our own. We bought 300 warm clothes last time. So let's bring in some broadcloth. It's going to be a while before we can make our own. It's expensive, but if I bring in... Say 200 broadcloth. Man, that's only 40. Where are we sitting at? We're in the fives. We spent a lot last time. We did. Okay. So 200. Deal. And then we'll get 200 cheap skin when it arrives from the, I think, Bar Barvinkove. Uh, horse, broadcloth, textile, honey. Honey in the system right now is enough we do have some okay so wheat sure let's get your let's buy your 311 and hemp and live chickens okay i think we're done here you guys i slowed you down so and we've only got two people working right now so rest one of your rests over constructing buying food so your rest is just beginning so buying food and then it'll say take a rest soon we can see them up there moving around so that is in between working and come on get get home right there now you're starting to take your rest so they do spend a lot more time doing other things than working taking a rest going to work buying food okay so visiting a chapel so all that is involved in in their taking a rest okay but we should be done here pretty soon is there anything else to see down in this area is there anything else that's kind of waiting you guys just made a trip out of here okay so we have dried fish left and you're pretty much done, but if I fire you now, I've got to reset the system later. Because it messes up. Well, I did with you too. Messes up the uh, uh, the seasonal hiring when I do something in the middle of the year different than it wants to do. Okay, so looking out over our world here. Keep that in view. They're almost done. Uh, anything else going on? I think they're going to be done before I can get back. They're real close, right in here. 
So bringing over some more boards, some more nails. Bang, bang, bang. Dropping off the railings. Here comes another, another uh, road section, another railing. Okay, looks like one more section left. So the road, a rail. Anybody else coming to work? There's the other rail, and whoa, I think that is like an end rail. So you're going to grab another... Oh, there's two end rails coming, and they're done. Oh, that's the whole ramp. Wow. Okay. We got a bridge. We have a bridge. Okay. A whole new world just opened up to us. Well, at least a peninsula. <laughs> yeah. So, actually, this world is available if we walk around. And... That world is available if we walk around. So we could get almost anywhere now. We essentially could go mining for stone. But they would be half dead by the time they got back. <laughs> Reminds me of the early days of Banished. And the, the Banished Death March. When you accidentally build a bridge wrong and they walk the entire map to go to that other end of the bridge to tap tap and then walk all the way back and die of starvation before they get home. Yeah. The good old days. <laughs> okay, we're putting in the cart shed. And we got two more houses, and we are out of things to build. So let's spend a little more time looking at the brickworks. And can we see it happening? Seems like there was a graphic to see them laying out the bricks inside to dry. What am I thinking of? Or is that not done in the winter? So two batches. We are forming the brick still, and we're burning the bricks in the kiln. Kiln is right here. Okay. And brick making is quite a, quite a system. Take a look at uh, Primitive Technologies channel. Maybe I'll pop up a, uh, a link or something up here, or put it down in the, uh, in the oh, inform information down below. But he makes bricks all the time. He builds buildings out of bricks. You know, in a very primitive setting. And it's quite an interesting art. So, you can see what's what's happening inside this building. He'll be able to show you firsthand what, what it really looks like. Um, starting to thaw. And we're going to dive into plowing. So, I don't... Okay, what is field number one? Field number one is officially right here. So right here, we're looking at 8100-100. That just went through a fallow. And it didn't bring back all of the red. Okay. I was really curious about that. And that's the one that they dropped the cattle into at the end. I didn't get to see, I didn't think of clicking on it to see what the red was before the cattle went in. So did, you know, what would it have been even worse? if the cattle hadn't been in there also. So that I don't know. But 8100 100. We should see that go up, at least the red. So this guy, when we get to this one, okay, there's a better one. 03653. You need, let's pause, buckwheat needs. It needs 2060. And we have in here, go back again, we have 36.53, so not quite the whole 60. So it'll be interesting to see if the plowing brings that up to more than 60. And exactly how much. So 53 and 80. So we're almost there. Boom. We're going to see everybody get fired around town. Well, released for a month for other duties. We're going to see the first of the workers. Now, okay... Starting up in March. Hmm. Do we need... Well, I, I think I've seen women haul uh, the plow, do the plowing. But it'd be nice if they were already hired beforehand. So they could have immediately started. Now we still have the whole hiring process of everybody going home for several days before we get going. So maybe we want to be firing that up in February. So they're already in place when this happens. Okay, and by April they should be all done. Don't need them anymore, except for off-season now needs the oxen to be taken care of. So from now on there always has to be a, a person in here. So this is the first year we've had to deal with that. Okay, 
Uh, there already is supplies. We've got plenty of hay and plenty of water. Though we could kick that water up another notch. Where are you at? You're at 300. Let's take you up to... Let's take you up to 1,000. Well, that does get into the capacity here, but that is 10,000 capacity. Yeah, we'll do 500. Okay. So 500 there, that's going to be topped off by some of the laborers. I'm curious to see who actually does the plowing. And do they hit field number one first? Like I assume. So here's our first worker versus our first uh, laborer who just showed up to work. I assume he grabbed some seed. They've got buckets on them. Oh, they're bringing water in. So they were in charge of filling up that water to near the 500 mark. Okay, so you are plowing a field. Perfect. So right there. So is there a reason for a third person? Both of them are going to be busy plowing fields. Is there anything else for them to be doing? I can't think of anything. So two should still be adequate for this job. Except that they might need to take a break before all four fields are plowed. There is that. Okay. So in that case, I'm talking myself up to four people per season. And if his team's a two, then it's the same you know, logic as running five in the uh, in the sawmill almost so you got a three out of five chance that everybody is that the plowing is going to continue no matter what all right so in that case on season is five so we don't need to go near as long harvest is august by then they should be all done easily by October. Let's pull at least December out of there. We'll make that decision later. And we'll just we'll get rid of the excess that much sooner. Because they're going to stay and do the threshing and all of that. Okay, so car shed is complete. We'll deal with that later. They're going to dive into two houses. I want to see what's happening here. And is it done real time? Does that start creeping up? No. Midway? No. So it must wait until it completes. And we didn't see this one. You're 100%. You're the one that went fallow. No, you're the first time we're using this one. You're a first time use. Okay. So that doesn't really help. But the one drawback to plowing is that no one can even start sowing. Nothing's going on here until the plowing is done. So, hmm. We can't have floor four plow teams. If we did three big fields and three plow teams, then you know, you'd wipe this out perfectly. You might be able to pull off six fields then? Two uh, plow per two fields? I don't know. Alright, so you are still saying 80. Yeah. <clears throat> Interesting, it lags behind this one, but it's right on in this direction. Must be the direction that's the difference. It's off by a plow's width, too. Like it's being drawn wrong. <laughs> okay, I'm coming into the home stretch. And done. Click away, click in. 95. So 15% difference. Okay. You got to go back in, and then you're going to uh, probably reset and come back over here. Or you are done. You are taking a rest. Okay. So who's our next worker that is available? Working a field. Plowing a field. So someone's already got the job. You were planting. You were planting and you've got to run back in and grab that uh, grab that plow. Okay. No. Well, somebody's going to grab the plow. That was the point of hiring all of you. But here's the rest of the town coming to help out. Wow. Look at that. All right. So memorize 0, 36, 53. So we should end up with 15, 51, 68. And there's the other field going in, which for wheat is plenty. We need very little blue for wheat. So this is the one that was going to lack. And it's going to be fine after this. Okay. So if it is a true 15% addition 
with the plow, then that'll help me go through and figure out how to get four cycles in easily and know that I'm going to have enough for each one. Okay. Um, so that's happening. These two are planted. Everybody else is going to leave for a while and go off and do other things. Get all of the the firewood in place and what have you. And we're not doing any building. Well, we have two builders over there trying to get something accomplished. And we'll see how that works out. So 51 and 68 is what we're looking for. Okay, 15, 51, 68. All right, 15%. Now I know. And you are getting close to being done. Everyone should rehire. Hey, everyone. And then we should get the rest of it as soon as this one's done. And that should be everybody in doing everything. But not just doing that. They're also bringing in everything that was just bought from the, the trader that needs to... Marifa again. Okay, uh, that needs to be taken off the leather and the wheat and, you know, they're making all the deliveries to all the buildings this month. So it's a good thing. You guys, you are hired. They're fine. There's still batches here. That, hmm. For some reason, we stopped that person. There was supposed to be one here all winter long. Okay, well, we'll do that. You got your one person. And we don't need you anymore. Huh. Okay, so for some reason they weren't uniform. So let's just apply to all and make sure that's a thing. Okay, and your boats are rough. And we're waiting for you working to go get that last boat. So why are you not doing that? What does working mean? I don't know. Am I not running? And you have now hired everybody to go and finish off the last two fields, and then you're going to be done. Still in March, and all of the fields are finished. Perfect. Okay. So, it doesn't take two guys to repair a boat. I've seen one do it before. But you have started... Oh, it is March. Okay. Okay. You know, I probably could fire them up early now. I probably could include March. We desperately needed the help. I think we are in a position now where we're we're okay with that. So March and make sure you're all uniform and we're gonna get going again. But why didn't you repair that last boat? That's frustrating. Now we got two guys, no, one in there. So let's continue to make you two guys but I don't get it you've got wood that boat clearly needs to be done um, can I I can force repair just to get it finished but I shouldn't need to do that so which which boat is it is there any way of knowing I there is a way of knowing okay it's that one right there that I can't click on there you are so you still are taking a rest and going to work. Okay. So you guys will do that, and I'll try and get you sorted out later. But March is just about ending. Fire or charcoal is there's 8,000 of it there. There's 6,000 of it there. And you are just about out and probably nowhere to put you. That's why it's, it's waiting. So is this the month they also plant their own gardens? It is not. That gets into April, I'm, I'm going to guess. April or May. Okay. Okay, Kurt Shed. Let's see what's going on here. I'm going to slow you down so I can concentrate. Need carts. Let's, for now, just move a cart. Looks like one and four are both there, so I'm guessing that's you. And grab one from here and drop you in here as well. So we'll get those moved over that much quicker. Bring a worker in. Supply for construction. In fact, let's, let's read this. Carts allow you to haul resources effectively. 
Um, if you... Okay, relocate carts. Cart shed workers perform deliveries of three types. Um, supply for the current construction sites according to priority queue, according to the list up here. And I'm told if that is clicked, then they won't do any of the other deliveries. They'll do it in order. So be aware that if you want special deliveries, then you need to temporarily shut that down. Perform regular deliveries to builders, uh, to, to buildings which have Carter checked in their supply options. That one I'm still working on in my mind because we don't have any buildings that have a lot of regular deliveries that need a whole cart full. You know, later when the mine is needing ore or something like that, I can see it. But carters don't go and deliver coal or uh, uh, clay to the brickmaker, nor uh, nor water, nor sand. So I won't help him any. So yeah, I'm still I'm still working through that one where, where that's actually going to be needed, or if a full special order is created by move resources by cart, and that's where we could have moved the buckwheat from one chicken coop to the other. Okay, so you can specify a minimum cart fullness with a slider in the building properties panel to avoid spending too much time or time in too small of deliveries. Okay, so that all makes sense. One cart has been delivered. When we get a cart worker in place, we'll think about things. That's why I'm running slow right now. I want to just kind of work through this in my mind. We could have a cart making regular deliveries of shoes to and clothes to the trader. So, Marifa's still here. They want sunflower oil. So there's another possibility. Um, let's send out the well, I'm tempted to hit the deal and forget that there's, you know, 2,200 more than we have available. Yeah, 500. And deal. Dried fish. Some, we could start... Oh, I keep waffling back and forth on that. We now have more fish coming in, and we have salt available, and, I, and the ability to do all the dried fish. There's all that dried fish that just left. Where is all that dry fish just left? There was 150 stacked up in this one. So, dried fish is a line item in here now? It is, and there's nothing there. You're not in any of these, so that means you all went into the markets. Uh, you're not in any of these. And I think you're done. I think that's just how it's going to be. Dried fish is right over there. There's 110. Um... Dried fish over here, I think it was one of the original two. No? Dried fish right there, there's 80. Okay, so depending on where they were, there's a potential, a potential of a 190 that just moved. Okay, and I think I saw down arrows on the other one, so people are buying them. Okay, so this could be the first year of, you know, two full working fishing docks. To see where we end up with as far as how much quantity is backlogged into the system. Okay, work through that one. So back to world map and Marifa is gone. Yeah, okay. So deal with more of that later. How much salt got moved down here? You, another 900 got moved down. Now, did we get it up in here? You probably have none because we're calling it for in other places. You have only got two. So how do I get salt up here? Available that way. Do I need now a worker to be actively drawing it? But why won't the trader guys just then come and empty her warehouse every single time? Huh. But is this too far away from here to go and get it? And that's why there's only two right now. Don't know. Um, what's going on here? Gathering materials. So we don't have any leather in place. Got a batch size of six. So I need to find out with one cow butchering what we're going to get out of a cow versus, you know, five or ten cows at a time, batch-wise, and then get it through the system and see how it works. So there is that. Um, I'm going to keep running it slow for a while. 
Let's play with the Carter. One Carter. Let's... Carter. Labor by hand. I shut that down to stop all the little tiny drips. Okay. So, you. You. Carter. Okay. So, how does this work? If I want regular deliveries, and I want... Do I drop and drag? No. Worker? No. So, how do I then tell them to do it? Uh, cart fullness. So I think fullness is a thousand. I think that's about right. So 500 at a time. Um, of things like the sunflower oil. So we'll ignore this for now. I'm just trying to figure out the first step. Let me look at this again. Regular deliveries, which have carter. If you, okay, get a cart. Relocate the carts. Cart share workers, workers perform deliveries of three types. Specify a minimum cart fullness. But how do you start? Is there more there? Wait a minute, there's a, a bar. Keep in mind, cart and the cart share can only be used if it's by its workers. Right, so no one else can grab these carts. Okay. So if I want this to receive something by cart, how do you do that? Right there. Move resources by cart. Okay. So I want you to move resources by cart. Sunflower oil. Um, 500. To. Here. Okay. Now, is that an immediate thing? You're going to work, so you're going to be there for a while. So let's also then tell the shoes at 500 at a time to Carter. Shoes when you hit 500 to try that again and not click away. 500 and arrow out to here as well. Now, I don't remember if these guys will be needing shoes too, so we'll wait for some more trades to come in. But you come into work, speed you up, and let's bring in a second person, give us twice the chance to actually see this in action. Okay. Um, anything else going on? We are starting to get plants going. Okay, you're going to grab a cart. You are going to... Follow. I assume I'm going to grab sunflower oil. Well, I could say show path. Right through there. Okay, you've arrived. You, you do have the animation of going to get it. Nice. Much better than have them just stand there than the cart magically fills. Yeah, this game is quality. This game's top notch. Though we're gonna be here a while. All right, let's let's. Oh, there we go. So we got 300. Okay, I thought a cart was was a thousand. Is a thousand lumber? So maybe by five. By 50%. I don't know, we'll see. I don't want to click away and have it uh, wiped out. You're going to drop it all off. Boom, 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 boom. And you're going to put the card away and see if you have new orders. So I, by 50%. Now, if I do it by 100%, they're going to make less trips and they're going to take a lot more time until it's time to go there. But we have already overfilled the. Uh, really? 15,000. What's in here? 10,000 coal. Okay. Uh, we can't do both. So let's take you down to... Uh, we'll do 4,000. And charcoal. I wish some more of these traders would come in. The river traders. So I can see if we even need to stock these. If they will buy salt. If they will buy charcoal. 
Okay. So that's just going to sit there and wait, and that's that's fine. Um, no other traders have come in. Village house is done, and only one house left. Okay, so we need to start figuring out what is going to happen in the future of this town. We have the workers. We have the beginnings of some building materials. There's 500 bricks available. And by available, you are out over here. Stocked up there. Okay. So, seems to me there's an animation where they bring the, the wet raw bricks out, lay them out. And then they transport them back in and kill and dry them, them, take them out and stack them. I'm trying to remember how that all worked. I was watching JC the Beard playing this, and he's gone through all of these buildings by now. Um, let's see. So we have building, but we have bricks now. Uh, if I wanted to build a row house, what am I looking at? So we need bricks, and we need a lot of them. Nails, boards, stone. So stone is something to get be getting into. We need glass. Ah. And what is that other thing? It looks kind of like a mortar. That is lime up there. What is that one? Glaze? Is that what I'm remembering? Yeah, there are a lot of steps before we get to these guys. So we need to then make the... The ashery. Glassworks. Let me work through this here in my mind. Ashery produces ash, lye, and potash. Soapworks produces lye and tallow. Glassworks produces glassware from sand, potash. So, ashery seems like an important next step, but we don't have whatever that is. And I can't click on it <laughs> to go and find it. Um, let's see, is there anything prior to that that gives me a hint? So, we get the lime kiln which produces quick lime okay um the smithy carpentry tannery there's nothing up in here that we haven't done yet so we're the smeltery and the line and the iron ore iron mine so that's that's possible now we could go and lay out those other two bridges and kind of get those going the lime works all right produces lime from quicklime and water, but that is after this step, right? Uh, produces quicklime from limestone and charcoal, and then produces lime from quicklime. So this is next, and then this, and the stone mining camp goes to get the lime, as well as the stone, and the tailor's workshop and weavers. Okay, then the smeltery deals with these two. So this is a chain, these guys are a chain. And then after that, we get into more of these, which use those. Okay. So, first of all, let's play with some bridges. And I want to shoot across this. We could take a trail across, and that would be fine. So, we could build this bridge first, but yeah, I like this one. In fact, let's go ahead and set you guys to supply construction materials. So whatever jobs are left, though we're down to one, we uh, they'll bring all the materials over. In which case, we could even start filling this up. Though I don't know that we're going to... We have enough going on to really get five guys working all the time. So that's probably not a thing yet. Bridges, let's set you guys. So some more bridges in here. And let's line you up with that. we got to pick something. Let's just pick that. And wow. We're too low all through here. So this is the whole area where that one field that we put in of sunflower seed or hemp, hemp, kind of failed. That whole bottom section there. So we'll go from there out to here, like that. And then we will do that again from... that trying to picture our heights over here this is too low so we got to get up to here let's go from here first though I don't know if that means they're gonna start building it from this end that would be horrible but I need that height so it's probably about this height let's just find out it's not too low now 
Look at that. So now, is there any kind of a... It does level out the bridge the further you go. So it kind of... The bridge is kind of aimed downhill there. So that's just for aesthetics. It does wipe out a lot of more building materials. Okay. But straight... In regard to straightness, we're pretty good right there. Okay. So that gives us access to most everything else we're going to do. Stone being the furthest away now. And boy, I wish we had a system in which we could use our own boats to go and travel the river, you know, longboat style, and, and uh, go and get our supplies rather than doing everything by cart. But this is where we'll probably be carting or wagoning a lot of things around. We'll see. Though by here, we may eventually be living out here. Yeah, but we need the stone soon. And that's a lot of walking, I know. So we need to employ the stone, probably in here, and just let them make the travel. So they're going to go after lime, which is over here. And then they're going to go after stone, which is just down the bridges. Actually, no, it's down one bridge. Unless I put another bridge in. Which eventually I would, I would say yes. But for now, they would probably jump in here and then walk around and go and get it. Okay. But we could set bridge number three, and he doesn't have to match this. They'll probably have to go down and around and cross over in this area. And we've got quite... Well, yeah, we're steep on both sides. So we could jump right across right there. Let's think about that again. So from this area, this is our this is our beginning area. It's not necessarily going to be our central area. We may centralize more up in here. Even right in here could be a nice big flat area eventually. Don't know. So we're going across here, here, kind of going around. That seems like the natural place to go through. I think so. So over here, one more bridge. My, yeah, I'm running on slow. One more bridge going from here, something like that. I want to see the, the heights. Yeah, you immediately you have to go uphill after that, so let's take it up a notch. So you're going to go right there, and we'll set you. All right, so you're the last bridge, and that's not that big of a bridge. That's doable. But we're going to see a lot of these materials already starting to be delivered. And we could go ahead and do both. We could... Well, I don't... Hmm. I don't want to get in too deep into mining until we've got the barber surgery going on because of the dangerousness of running mines, but... We'll see. It's easy enough to order in iron. It is. So we don't have to get into that, though the, the, the whole idea of gathering stone is also a, a dangerous work. Um, no more traders coming in. We are in April... Um, April, May. The only other thing that comes up in the middle of the year that's the flag of my attention is, and why are we not green here like we are there, is the, um, the, what do you call those? Why is that? Orchards. Do I know I want to get orchards back in. It's just I needed this space for the farm. So where else would be a great place to put orchards that we can reach? Even if it means taking down some trees, and we know these guys will actually do some work now. <laughs> if we force them to. Maybe we need an orchard in here. That could be it. we got a trail forming here to come out the back end and then get back into town. That's interesting. Now, this time we saw the cherries and apricots don't last very long, so those orchards will be quite small. And that's fine. We'll get some variety in the system, but we don't have to overwhelm it. Apples, though, we can sell. And I think they will probably dry fruits, those apples, too. Though, I don't think they will from the orchard. I think it's only if they go out and pick them themselves. And you were cherries. You're wild cherry trees now. Yeah, cherry, apricot, apple. That's what the orchards were. Okay. So, if we were to put in a... Mm, what is the noise? Got a family moving in. Hey. Oh, yeah. They're showing kids this time. Interesting. 
At one time, the family had a kid, but it just showed the parents. And I'm... What am I seeing there? I'm seeing one adult. Unless that's the husband and wife. And a child. Okay, so you are going... Here. So... Maybe you have to be seven years old to be represented in a wagon. <laughs> Until then, you don't exist. Because <laughs> that's the driver. He'll leave. Anyway, that's interesting. But this is what they're bringing with them. And so they're they're all set for a while. Okay. 55 minutes in? Not possible. Okay, so you are stocked up on shoes and you're stocked up on sunflower oil. Um... Dare we... What do we want in the system for reserves? Don't know. 180 out of 200. See, the problem is when I build up reserves for the, the town, you know, I love to have a certain amount of dried fish, a certain amount of sunflower oil, and a certain amount of salt. The trader, if I'm calling for it, they're going to empty it back out again. So I can't really reserve it for the town. I just have to make sure to never... You know, take out and sell everything. So that that is a weakness. If there is a way around that, let me know. But that is that is a frustration for me. I would love to say, you know, the town gets the first 500, and after that we trade, and then we trade the the lowest quality first, so the ones that are about to rot. But I don't think it's possible. You are dealing with this problem here. Okay. So yeah, you're just going to have to go 24/7. Or 12 months a year. Because I never know when the wheat's actually going to show up. Okay. So there's that. Bridges are set. I need to, next episode, I suppose, figure out an industry over here. I think I want to put in, and we're starting to get materials dropped off. I want to put in more houses along the backside of these. I think that would work well. Or the well did work. It's, it's not too close to the river. So a good water for all these houses. A market for all these houses. It seems like the wisest thing to do. Although, maybe this is enough for now and that the next plan is right in here. So we can get the next farm going. So does the farm go here and the industry building's there? Or does the farm go here and more housing over here? Do we get a third neighborhood yet? Or do we concentrate on big neighborhood, small neighborhood and make what we have work? I don't know. There's probably pros and cons of both of those. So give me your thoughts on all of that and where we're headed next. And that could be wise just to call it quits here and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye.